question of the day, will the monkeys outlast the beetles? Who'll be around longer? Give me your impression, all right? Will the monkeys outlast the beetles? If you want to go on with it a little bit, fine. Have your name and age? My name is John Pollard, and I'm 18. And the, the beetles have already had a three-year head start, and I still think they'll outlast the monkeys. All right. So about 16. No, I don't think they will. All right. Jim Red is 17, all the beetles. I'm Martha Vella, 15. I think the beetles will last. Okay. Frank Virgilio, 16. The Beatles will outlast them. All right. Judy kind of guy, the Beatles. Right, thank you. Maureen Cohen, 15. I think the Beatles will outlast them. Justine, 16. The Beatles will outlast. Karen White, 15. The Beatles will outlast. Steve Vodrick, 16. The Beatles will outlast. Ronnie Manneker, 17. And I'll say the monkeys. Right. <laughs> Fair enough. We, uh, I would say offhand the Beatles won that particular survey. Do you agree or disagree? In any case, you'll see the difference in the Beatles one week from today on American Bandstand when they'll be performing Strawberry Fields Forever in Penny Lane. And uh, I think you'll notice something new with them, the fact that they don't work together quite as regularly as they used to. They do record. And uh, we hope you'll be here one week from today for the Beatles' debut on American Bandstand, their first, first visit to us. Okay? Direct from England. It's going to be interesting. We'll be back on American Bandstand right after this word. The Beatles have kept pretty much to themselves in the last seven or eight months. They haven't released many single recordings. There have been thousands of rumors about their breakup. They'd say they're not going to tour anymore. They're not going to travel around. Would you pay to see them in person if they came to your town? I wouldn't it might pay be? if they came to my town. I mean, you know, I don't like the Beatles. Let us take you now to England, if I may, in a very, very interesting and different-looking Beatles with Strawberry Fields Forever. Right, now we'll, we'll just keep looking at this for a second. And then I want to get your impression of what you've just seen. As they slowly fade away. What would you think of that? That is great. <laughs> what did you think? I don't like their hair. Their mustache. You didn't dig the mustache, is it? What, did, what was your comment? I don't know. They look they looked older, and it ruins their image, really. Mm -hmm. How did you feel? That was funny. And you? I liked it. They're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> their mustaches were weird. <laughs> Come on back here. I think they went out with a twist. They look like grandfathers or something. So, Men? Look like somebody's grandfather. But it looked okay. Looked good. Interesting. All righty. Let's go on now, back once again to England. A different look again. The Beatles. What would you think? It was different. Pardon? It was different. <laughs> And you? It was uh, a little brighter on the brighter side, I think. Uh-huh. Yeah. Sir? They smiled, at least. I thought it was weird. Weird. <laughs> They're okay. Reminded me of Hollywood about a hundred years ago. Mm -hmm. What was your comment? It was all right. All right. They're as bad as the monkeys. They just look different than they used to. Yeah, that's pretty safe to say. <laughs> Did I speak to you? No. What was your impression? I thought they looked good. It was a change. Change? <laughs> they have a right to look any way they want. Yeah, yeah. Mick Jagger. All right. How about the... Uh, let's, let's take our camera down in this row. I'm going to have to reach real long. The young lady here, the, the short hair. They just look entirely different. What do you think of it? Oh, uh, these are all right. <laughs> Not much of a change. 